so let's just quickly add a bottom navigation bar to our this dashboard from where we can access our these four fragment screens so we can say body bottom navigation bar as you know we are using the get x chat management so first we can write opx and now we can say bottom navigation bar current index and the current index will be let's initialize here rx rx int an integer type index number and let's initialize this with 0 dot obs so now we can say index number dot value and on the on tap this index number will be changed now what I mean I will explain in details don't worry about this please so whatever the new index is new index value is we will assign that new index value to the index number dot value make sure to put a semicolon here and then the next property for the bottom navigation bar is to set the properties for example we want to show the selected labels so yes also we want to show the unselected labels yes the selected item color now these selected labels or selected item color these are the bo bo buttons okay these buttons basically the navigation button for which we have specified these properties okay so these are the bottom navigation bar button properties which we are setting here for example the selected labels of these button that is the button names and the color for that okay all these things so the selected item color that is the active color so the active color for each button is we have four buttons for example so if I click on the home button then home button will be highlighted so what will be that highlighted color that will be colors dot white and the unselected item color that is the non-active buttons that is if I click on home home will button will be highlighted while the other three will be unhighlighted okay Unhighla unselected item color so for that we will set or you can say the non-active buttons so colors dot white 24 then can set the items so we can say list dot generate length we have four buttons you already know that we have four buttons one two three four okay we have four buttons that because we have four screens that's why we have four buttons okay so we have four buttons or you can say we have four fragment screens that's why we have to specify that length here so four comma index now underscore navigation button properties pass the index to it and let's assign this to a variable and let's give it name as nav btn property nav button property return bottom navigation bar item
the background color for this bottom navigation bar item will be black okay colors dot black and the icon for this will be nav button property and it is basically the non-active icon for each navigation button okay we are specifying this is basically the usable code I will explain this now comma then comes the active icon so for the active icon we have the active icon key using which we can access the buttons active icons and then comes the last one which is label so label is nav button property and it is by the key name label and the background color of our dashboard screen will be black black and as I told you many times that this is basically a dashboard of our these four fragment screen so in the body of dashboard of fragment screen this will be the navigation again okay? the bottom navigation so please instead of body you can write here by mistake I just write here body this is body navigation bar okay so at the bottom of this dashboard of fragment screen we will display bottom navigation bar however in the body of this dashboard of fragment screen we will display our four fragments according to the buttons on which the user will tap okay now how let me just write here I will show it to you and then I will also show explain the code further to you guys okay underscore fragment screens that is our four you know that fragment screens is basically these are our four fragments which we can access with the help of fragment screens underscore fragment screens and you know that each and every fragment will have their own index number so you can say index number dot value so now let's just test the app on our phone and then we can also review and explain I mean I will review and explain this code which which we have write in this video till now So the app is running now and now let's just quickly log in. First of all make sure that your XAMPP server is running ok. So I will start watching my SQL and now let's just quickly log in. is my password let's click on login button you are logged in successfully and here we go we are on the dashboard of fragments now let me just explain to you the code first let me show to you guys these four uh, navigation buttons you can see when we are home it is home fragment screen when we are favorites then when we click on favorites button then we are on the favorites fragment screen and when we click on the orders then we are on the order fragment screen and when we click on the profile button then we are on the profile fragment screen so now what we have did as you know I have told you many times this is our dashboard of fragment screen okay which is basically uh, you can say a common screen for our these four fragment screens which you already see here okay for that for accessing these four fragments we have created 
these four buttons for which we have specified these properties okay the active and non uh, non active icon you can see when home is active it is like this filled icon and when it is not a non active then it becomes this empty type okay it is not filled icon same goes for the favorites you can see and same for box open and box close you can see and then for the profile so we have these uh, for accessing these four fragments for accessing these four fragments we created these four buttons okay so that when the user click on any button then it will navigate to that fragment screen for example if i click on the first icon then at the first index we have our first home fragment screen which you can see here if i click on the second button then on the second index we have our favorites fragment screen which you can see here and then at the third button if the user click then we go to the third index and on the third index we have order fragment screen and when the user click on the profile which is the fourth button then it goes to the fourth index number okay so that's why here we have just specify okay that is first what we did we write here bottom navigation bar that is these button which you see here okay this bottom navigation bar which you see we get that with the help of this flutter property which is bottom navigation bar okay as we are using the get x stat management so we use obx okay then we uh, implement our bottom navigation bar which you can see here now inside this bottom navigation bar we uh, specify the current index which i explain that is first index second index third index and fourth index on the first index we have home fragment screen while at the fourth index we have profile fragment screen at the second index we have favorite fragment screen and at the third index we have order fragment screen so each and every uh, fragment screen they have their own index number so that's why we have a property for the bottom navigation bar that is the current index that is which button is currently clicked for example currently the fourth button is clicked which is profile so it get the index number value that is four okay and according to that according to that as it get the four okay the four value is clicked for example if i click the third one which is order then it get the three okay three value that is on the on tab index value change to that is it get three and three is assigned to the index number dot value okay so the current index become three i hope you get that let me show it. let me tell you first this on tab okay if i tap on this one so this is the second button okay so it means second index number or you can say second value so the value has two and 2 is assigned to the index number index number dot value so now 2 is assigned so the current index is now second which means that according to the second index number now it will show us the second screen whatever the second screen index number is okay that is the at the second index number whatever the screen fragment screen is so at the second index number we have a fragment screen which is favorite fragment screen if i show you then it is basically favorites fragment screen which you see here okay our this screen is at the second index number if i click on the first index then on the on tab it will have the value will have one and that one will be assigned to the index number dot value so now the index number dot value that is the current index is one so at the first index whatever the fragment screen is it will just display us so at the first index number the fragment screen is home fragment screen so if i show you you can see home fragment screen you see that screen here so simple and so easy then comes the uh, properties for example uh, the show selected levels which we want to show that is home okay we want to display that and the unselected levels we are using just one level which is home okay in the properties we have specified this for the active and non-active for both we have same level okay because it is according to our need we do not need 
any uh, unselected level for example just like we use icon okay you see for the active it is this icon for the non active it becomes this empty and we have specified this here okay which you can see here for example favorite favorite border okay so the level is the same that's why we want the label we want to display the uh, item labels selected labels and the unselected labels that is home when home is active home is showing okay and when home is not active then home is also showing with that okay I hope you understand this now let me tell you show selected labels for example I select the home button I click on it so it is showing me this level of home and show unselected labels for example if I navigate to the second button then still it is showing the home level with the non-active uh, buttons which you see here we set that to true then the item color is white which you see here that is the active icon color is uh, active color for the button is white and the non-active color is this gray type you can say white 24 okay you can see here the color also white 24 and then item list dot generate which simply means that we have four screens so we specify that four screen uh, that is we have four fragments screen okay four fragment screen and if we write uh, other than this number for example five or six then we will get error because we have four screen and we want to navigate between these four button let's say if you have another screen you want to add then you have to add that fragment screen here okay and you have to specify the uh, properties for it after here okay and then you have to change the index number to five for example for the fifth button in the bottom navigation bar so according to the current situation we have four buttons that is four indexes okay so one by one that is as you know these are our properties which we specify here okay these property for these buttons navigation button one by one we specify okay so one by one we want to display these properties that is the background color for the bottom navigation bar item okay you can see it is black the color okay and then the non-active icon that is when the icon is non-active for that we have to display the non-active icons for each and every button for each and every button from the properties which we specify here at the top for each and every button okay for example for the home these are the properties for the favorite these are the properties for the orders these are the properties and for the profile these are the properties so for each and every button that is currently according to the current situation we have four button so for these four buttons we want to display their non-active icon their active icon and their label one by one okay for these four navigation buttons we display their non-active icon the active icon and their label so simple and so easy so this is all about our bottom navigation bar that is how we can implement and add it to our app using the get stat management you can see it is working fine and it is animated since you can see here okay that is when we tap on any uh, navigation button then you can see it is changing which means it is animated